And this is the Yamaha YDP223 digital piano. This piano gets a lot of use, and recently this C uh, and this A actually suddenly get super loud uh, for no known reason, and sometimes the C doesn't make any sound for some known, unknown reason. And just like taking your car to the mechanic, I can't make it. I can't make it not work right now. So we can take the keys off the top here by uh, pushing between the keys. There's a small arrow on the key that points one direction. For this E1, for example, it's pointing to the left, which means you stick a, a knife-shaped object down here to release that. And at the same time, uh, you push the key down and slide it forward and it pops out. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't get hung up on these springs or these will be out of place. Uh, they have to go right back where they were. Now, the mechanism down here is uh, the one that moves the, the hammers in the back. I push on it. You can see the hammers move. And down there is a rubber piece that is contacting a circuit board. So we actually have to take the entire keyboard out and flip it upside down. Now, to be able to get these keys out, uh, you actually have to undo all the screws holding it in in the back here and slide it forward so you have a gap that way you can get the keys out um, and now I also had to dis disconnect this blue cable here I'll have to make sure we have that uh, disconnected from this tie wrap here and then we can take out the whole keyboard and flip it upside down so we can start working on the contacts and clean them Here's a view of how that piano action works. Got a hammer in the bottom that, that adds weight. And when you let go of the key, it's possible for the key to uh, come back a little bit. So that's how they get that piano feel. And this little piece here pushes on the orange pad in there. And that's what triggers the sense of the velocity and the fact that you've touched the key. And this, that's on the back side of the PCB here. So that is how piano actuates. And all this blue stuff is not kid's gunk, it's actually uh, oil, some kind of grease. So here we are finally with the with the rubber buttons exposed and we'd like to clean underneath here just to make sure our contacts are clean. Uh, everything looks great down here at the low end of the keyboard but as I get to the middle I see plenty of dirt. Lots of dirt. Probably some cookies too involved. Uh, so definitely need a lot of cleaning here. Uh, we're gonna vacuum, we're gonna be taking these strips off and cleaning underneath them because there's probably some dust under them that's causing the problems. So hopefully we'll revive our keyboard here.
so these rubber pieces are really hard to get back into place. There's a small groove in there and the triangle edge on this thing needs to pop into that. But as far as I can tell, there's not really a alignment horizontally to keep these things lined up while you're putting the circuit boards on. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go here. But my plan is, once we get all these in, to make sure they're clean again before we put the circuit boards back on top. Cleaned them with contact cleaner on both sides and so I'm hoping that will help keep them clean uh, from oxidation but there is dirt in here. You can see a little speck right there of white dirt so I'll clean that off. Next, to put these uh, circuit boards in, there are some very small tabs back here where you see the light poking through. have got to get the circuit board under those tabs. So we carefully push this down and then lower it like that. And I missed the tabs on that shot, so I've got to do it again. Except now the orange things, which have almost no alignment, are poking out, so I've got to Push those back in now. This is extremely tedious. And the number of orange things does not line up with the length of the circuit boards. That's a, it's really a strange design. Let me say it that way. There we go, we got under the tabs that time. So now I need to put screws in to uh, get this all buttoned up. There's one screw that's different from the others. This one has a washer on it as well, and that goes right here between the two circuit boards. Okay, the circuit board and the rubber pad are all back in place, hopefully in the right place. We're going to have to test it and find out, but I definitely need to do a lot more cleaning somehow. Ideally, you'd take off every single key and clean under the keyboard, but that would that would be prohibitive. So I don't know how in the world uh, we're gonna manage to get this thing cleaned out. But we pulled a guitar pick and some other funny thing out between the keys, and uh, I don't know what else is in there. All right, I'm gonna clean out this sarcophagus here before I put the keyboard back in, and then we'll start reassembling. piano for over a week now, it's worked perfectly, so cleaning really was the fix.